Hello, this is Darno from Porsche of Ocala. Just taking a moment to show you the 2014 Porsche Cayenne Turbo S. The 2014, it's uh, very well maintained, very low miles. There's a lot of nice equipment on it. Things equipped with the front sensors, the rear sensors, and the backup camera. Up front, you have the LED daytime running lights with the Xenon headlights. This is equipped with the Porsche entry and drive system for so for an each door handle. You can put your hand inside the handle to unlock it, press the button on the outside to lock it. Very nice sporty wheels to complement the look of the vehicle. You have the four exhaust tips that also help with the sportiness of the car. Porsche likes to do everything where it's functional. So you have the spoiler on the top to help air go around the car, keep this thing stable. This car is equipped with the air suspension as well as the PASM. So you can adjust the height of the vehicle as well as the actual ride quality of it. So if you put it into the sport mode or the sport plus mode, it's gonna stiffen up the suspension to give you a sportier ride. The power tailgate is one of the standard options on the car. You can adjust the height of the tailgate easily by pressing the button on the left and holding it. And then the button on the right will close and lock the car, which comes with the entry and drive system. The seats fold down in a 40-20-40 split. You have a rear shade here, so you can keep everything in the rear of the car private. Net for storage. Mats are nice and clean. You have these tie downs so that you can uh, secure things in the back of the vehicle. Spare tire with all the necessary, necessary equipment. Going inside, the interior is black and luxor beige with the beige stitching. Like I said, the vehicle is very well maintained. Back seats don't even really look like they were satin. You have rear vents with the rear heated seats. Okay, this car is equipped with the Bose surround sound system. You have the 18-way seats, which gives you a lot of comfort. That have the memory package as well, so you have memory seats on the passenger and driver side of the vehicle. For the seat controls, it's quite a bit here. So just to go over them, you have this one to extend the front part of the seat to give you a little extra support on your, your legs. You have this one to move the seat forward, back, up and down, as well as tilt it. You have adjustable bolsters for uh, your thigh and then here on your sides this one's going to be to adjust the backrest and then you have your four-way lumbar support you have your Alcantara steering wheel to add on to the sportiness of the car like I said the vehicle is very low miles 17,932 miles on the vehicle has a PCM with navigation, which is a standard option on the car. Carbon fiber shift knob. And all your controls are right here. You have your ventilation control, your hill descent up here up top, the defrost, air circulation, heated and ventilated seats. So you have three intensity settings for both. Then you have your off-road mode, which is a standard option as well. So it's a change how the all-wheel drive system operates to make it a little bit more uh, all-wheel drive, off-road oriented. You have your different settings here for comfort, normal, and sport. And this is going to change the suspension. It's going to change how it feels, like I said earlier, to give you more of a sporty ride. 
and then you have over here the air suspension to adjust the height of the vehicle so when in the sport mode the suspension will lower down to the optimal setting uh, for aerodynamics and for uh, optimal handling you have your sport mode for the throttle response as well as the shift patterns you have your PSM which is your Porsche stability management to adjust your traction control essentially then you have your automatic start and stop feature but once this uh, button is pressed it deactivates that function the automatic start and stop will turn off the engine to help conserve fuel and it stops at whenever you come to a stop at a stoplight or a stop sign uh, but the car has to meet certain requirements like the battery voltage being at a certain point uh, the car temperature being at a certain point and then you have your lane departure warning here so when you if you started to drift out of the lane the car will alert you that you're you're going out of the lane so that you can correct your steering also for safety you have your lane change assist which is here in the mirror once the feature is active the light comes on like so so what that's going to do is alert you when someone's in your blind spot if you were to hit to turn on your signal um, the, the light would flash rapidly so that you know not to switch lanes going back to the instrument cluster you have the TFT display here which shows plenty of information here's your vehicle menu you scroll down you have your audio menu so you can see the radio stations as well select them uh, you have your navigation to show your previous destinations and while using the navigation it'll show you turn by turn directions you have your uh, your actual map here uh, so you can see the direction that you're going and you can adjust this um, if you wanted to by selecting in so you have a 3d map always facing north up and you can zoom in and out as well uh, you have your phone function so once your phone's connected all your contacts will uh, be selected through here as well as the ability to dial out and look at your previous calls you have your trip computer tire pressure and then your sport chrono clock so with sport chrono you're gonna get a couple things you get the, the sport mode obviously you have your lap timer that you can access through here and activate through here but you can also see the lap timer here up on the dash and the on the console we'll scroll down back to the vehicle menu once you go in through here you can see quite a few different options uh, you can check your oil from here uh, create a speed limit so that there's a warning once you exceed a certain speed you have your settings once you go into your settings you can access a good portion of what's actually most important to operate so that you don't take your hands off the wheel and you can control it straight from the steering wheel once again this car seems very well t maintained inside and out We'll take a look under the hood. Show you what power is the Cayenne Turbo S. 4.8 V8 twin turbo. Again, 550 horse and 553 pounds for the torque. Okay, get one more good look at the Cayenne Turbo S. Again, this is Darnell, and hopefully we'll speak soon. Thank you.